So now we learned the various methods by which we can solve a pair of consistent linear equation that is the equations which have only one solution. Okay. We already have an idea of this solution is not it this equation x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 4. We know the answer as 7 3 because we had plotted the graph, but let us use this method to find the answer directly. Okay. What does this mean substitution method where you substitute one variable in terms of another. Okay. Let us see from one equation any equation which seems to be simpler in this case both the equations are quite simple. So, any one equation will take this first equation I can write x as 10 minus y. So, the value of x is nothing but 10 minus y this value of x as 10 minus y I can put here because 10 is equal to x minus y. So, go to the second equation which says x minus y is equal to 4 instead of x I will take 10 minus y. So, 10 minus y is x minus y is equal to 4. So, what does this mean 10 minus 2 y is equal to 4 that gives me 10 minus 4 is equal to 2 y 6 is equal to 2 y. So, y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 what happens to x I can put wherever I feel like. So, x plus y is equal to 10 x plus 3 y 3 because I got y as 3. So, this is the value of y I got this is equal to 10 gives me x is equal to 7. So, what is the answer actually x is equal to 7 y is equal to 3 and this is what remember we had got the same answer when we had plotted the graph. So, now you realize that there was no need for us to have done all that graph thing where we can just do use this method to directly get the value of x and y which is going to satisfy both the equations. Now, look at this 7 plus 3 10 7 minus 3 4. So, answer is correct this method of substituting one variable in terms of another one variable in terms of another variable. So, x is nothing but 10 minus y from the first equation I put the value of x as 10 minus y. So, I have got only linear equation in one variable now it is a single variable this is something we know very well how to solve we got the value of y then you can put wherever you feel like even in the second equation if I put y is equal to 3 I will get the value of x as 7. So, anyway you can do it such questions can be done easily as long as these powers uh, this in front of the x and y the coefficients they are small and not fractions it is not that you cannot do when they are fraction it is not so easy to do. So, whenever you have these coefficients as small numbers or without coefficients also e being 1 or 2 or 3 something like that the such questions can be easily done. Let us do one more question say 7 x minus 2 y is equal to 21 I can also take 4 x uh, plus y is equal to 57 the number seems to be quite pretty big is not it, but let me try this way another pair of equations here I have already written that 7 x minus 2 y is equal to 21 4 x plus y is equal to 57. Now, before I start solving these equations I think it is uh, necessary that realize whether they can be solved or not that is very important is not it sometimes we end up doing everything and we realize that they are going to be parallel lines or overlapping lines. So, what is the simple thing we had to do a 1 by a 2 then you find b 1 by b 2 that is all and see whether they are equal or not once they are equal then we will go to c 1 and c 2, but for the time being if they are not going to be equal we can start solving it. Okay. So, that is the first thing one must always do just to see whether they are going to have any e answer for that or not. So, what is a 1 by a 2 7 by 4 what is b 1 by b 2 minus 2 by 1 minus 2 and here it is 1 obviously they are not equal is not it. So, since they are not equal I can surely solve and get some value of x and y which is going to satisfy both the equations. So, having done this let us try to solve them by this method substitution method. Now, look at these equations the second equation the coefficient of y is 1. So, that becomes easy for me to write y as 57 minus 4 x is not it because if I had a coefficient here that will come here in the denominator to get the value of y then you get a fraction then you have to substitute a fraction it is not difficult, but then there will be more work. So, I have what I have done is taken the second equation so that I get a linear 
line like this without any in the denominator. Okay. So, y is equal to 57 minus 4x. This I have to substitute in the first equation. So, what was the first equation? 7x minus 2y is equal to 21. Now, instead of y, I will be writing 57 minus 4x. So, 7x minus 2 times, let us put that in the bracket. So, 57 minus 4x. These are the small, small things which we should remember not to make any mistake. You please do not write 2 into 57 minus 4x. Now, that will become wrong. That is wrong. So, this has to be written as 2 times the entire y. This is the value of y. That is what you got here, is not it? The entire y has been written inside the bracket. That is equal to 21. Now, it is a linear equation in only one variable. So, when you solve this, you will get the value of x. So, 7x minus 7 to 14, 5 to 10, 1114 minus into minus plus 4 to 8x is equal to 21. 7 plus 8, 15x is equal to 21 plus 114, which is 5, 2 plus 135. 15x is equal to 135 gives me x is equal to 9. 135 by 15 is 9. So, I got the value of x as 9. Take these two equations. So the better is to take the equation which does not require much of multiplication. So, instead of putting x as 9 here, then you will be multiplying 7 into 9 minus 2 into some y is equal to 21 and solving that. Put it here. So, that the too much of multiplication is not involved. That is the thing. It is not wrong. It is more like we want to make the entire process simpler. We do not want to do too many calculations of big, big numbers. So, x is equal to 9, I can put in the equation here. So, what do I get? 4 into, what is this? 9. 4 into 9 plus y is equal to 57. So, 36 plus y is equal to 57 gives me y is equal to 57 minus 36, 21. So, the answer x is equal to 9, y is equal to 21. So, if these two lines are drawn on the graph, this is the point 9, comma 21 is the point where the two lines will surely meet. That is the answer for this question.